Alright, welcome back to Monkey Island part 9. We still need to get it, get the ship. I've checked around a bit online just to get some hints at least because otherwise I would be stuck. So I'm just gonna check if I have what it takes to to get the ship. Okay. Let's see. I think that's all we need is the book there. Mr. Fossey, I've been thinking. Are you all right, Captain? <laughs> you sound different. Don't interrupt. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Maybe it's time we gave up pirating. I mean, take a look around at me and the rest of the crew. We're all monkeys. You mean in the Darwinian sense, sir? No, I mean no. in the quite literal sense. Uh, have you noticed that the crew is happier swinging from the masts than swabbing the decks? I don't even want to mention what they've been flinging around the ship. Are you suggesting that I'm not disciplining the crew enough? No, I'm suggesting that we all give up this charade and go back to the trees. That's the life for a monkey, not sailing the seas for months on end. Well, if you feel so strongly about it, sir, I suppose I can't argue. I think our last order of business should be to dig up that statue and... It'll be tough on the men, sir, but I'll tell them that you think it best. Okay, but first we should dig up that statue and give it to... I'll make sure they understand that it's not their fault. Very good. And then we can dig up that statue with... Okay, never mind then. Okay, can I walk here freely now? That must be the map to where they buried Elaine. I can't imagine any need for a loaf of plunder bread. I don't want another biscuit. It's two tickets for the Long John Silver Center for the Performing Arts. I don't go in for all that highbrow, artsy theater stuff. Besides, if I want to enter the theater, I can always use the stage door. Nah, the corn is all buttery and greasy. I never liked cranberries, and I don't plan to start now. I'm not that interested in mashed potatoes right now. I'm not in the mood for bananas. I think Mr. Fossey is the only guy who can talk to him. I'm surprised he's not angry. I mean, it's a huge gorilla. I'm not in the mood for fruit. Mmm, no. Okay, I guess we're done here. Okay, we need to find the eggs. Um, yeah, I mean, there were theater tickets there, so I assume we have to go there to find some other clue.
Nothing new in here. But the monkeys are here apparently. Okay, lots of monkeys. Be you brute! Then fall, Caesar! Thank you, thank you. Oh, I just can't watch. Let's see if there's something new here. We needed instructions to work the lights, right? Monkeys have been here at least. That's it. That must be where Elena's okay, buried. Didn't press that. And now, the moment I know you've all been waiting for. How about some amazing juggling? Is this a dagger I see before me? No, it's three! See how I juggle these knives? At yeah. great personal risk to myself, and to you if I slip. He's a great juggler, but I sure wish he'd get off the stage so I can dig Elena. Okay, we have to get him off the stage. I can't go out there. Uh, I don't know what... The trunk is open now. It looks like he's gonna juggle these cannonballs. I don't want to haul those cannonballs around. Let's put some oil on them, uh, okay. Yep. Nice, nice. Uh-oh. It looks like he's coming for the cannonballs now. If they will slip, but... And now, the ultimate Shakespearean delight. The famous cannonball juggling scene from Romeo and Juliet. Whoa! Ah, uh, yes, that scene. Oops! Oh. <laughs> I'm glad it had a happy ending and he got... The, um, the, got the girl in the end? Okay, he's still here. I guess he doesn't mind. Elaine should be safe up in the crow's nest, for now. Okay, is my crew with me? Well, I've got a crew, nice. a map, a ship, and finally got Elaine back. So let's say we head on to Blood Island to lift the curse and save Elaine. How about it, guys? Let's get moving towards Blood Island. Let's head on out and find our fortune, guys. This might be more difficult than I first imagined. Three sheets to the wind. Okay. Ah, the sea. Aye, the sea. Makes you glad to be alive. I think that ship is following us. Feel that salty spray. Or is it, is the sun sparkling off the bay. What a glorious seafaring day. It's a pirate ship. We've got to outrun her. All right, men, are you with me? Hey, look, guys, a whale. Oh my God, do your job. That ship is gaining on us. Cutthroat Bill, rig the topsail. Is that a right whale? No, no, lad. They're boarding us. Crew, help me out here. It is a worst crew ever. Set us some order, Mr. Shetty. I think you're right. Well, well. Ah, Waddingham. this guy. So it's you. What do you want other than a good toupee? I've come for your map to the fabled Blood Island. Then I'll find the diamond you mentioned. It will make a fun paper well for my escritoire. Ooh, look! It's breaching! Ooh! Ah! Look, Baldy, I'll never give you that map. I need it to save Elaine. Then I'll have to take it from you by force. That whale must be 30.5 meters. 
100 feet Very and specific. weigh 200 metric tons. You know of course, in a sword fight, a sharp wheat is much more important than a sharp blade. Of course. Everybody knows that, Chrome Dome. Let's get this over with. Every enemy I've met, I've annihilated. Oh, yeah? Well, you fight like a cow. No, 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 no. That's not right at all. What? On the sea, we fight it a little differently. On the sea, all your insults and threats have to rhyme. What? So when I say every enemy I've met, I've annihilated, you say... I once found some gold, but it was just electroplated? No. You say, get your breath. I'm sure they are suffocated. Let's try that again, shall we? You're okay. as repulsive as a monkey in a negligee. Uh... I'm waiting. I... Uh, I... Just as I thought. You're an amateur with this world. Give me that map. Here. Take it. That's your map? Yeah. As soon as I uh, pirate the it to... girls, it's off to blood alone. Until we meet again, Monsieur Tweebud. Should have at least have copied it. Got to get that map back or we'll never find Oh, now you're out. here. Thanks, guys. You were a world of help back there. Worthless. It was a rousing battle, Captain. Aye, and it reminds me of a song. With a band of vicious pirates are sailing out to sea. When you hear a gentle singing, you'll be sure to turn and flee. Oh, this is just ridiculous. Let's go defeat that evil pirate. We know he's sure to lose, cause we know just where to fire it. We're thieving balladeers. A gang of cutthroat mugs. To fight us off, you won't need guns. Just jolly good ear plugs. A pirate I was meant to be. Trim the sails and roam the sea. Come on, men. We've got to recover that map. That pirate will be done for when he falls into our trap. We're a club of tune for rovers. We can sing in every clef. We can even hit the high notes. It's just too bad we're tuned deaf. A pirate I was meant to be. Trim the sails and roam the sea. Great song. Let's get out of here now. Enough. <laughs> I'm getting so sick of you guys and your rhyming. We're ready to set sail, though the cannons need a priming. Then go do it. We're troublesome corsairs, and we've come to steal your treasures. We would shoot you on the downbeat. But we gotta rest my measures. A pirate I was meant to be. Trim the sails and roam the sea. Stop, stop, stop. The brass is what we'll polish, and the deck is what we'll mop. You say you're nasty pirate scheming, thieving, bad bushwhackers. From what I've seen, I tell you, you're not pirates, you're just slackers. A pirate, a pirate I was, was meant to be. Trim the sails and roam the sea. Less singing, more sailing. When we defeat our wicked foe, his ship he will be bailing. If you try to fight us, you will get a nasty whacking. If you disrespect our singing, we will feed you to a cracking up. A pirate I was meant to be. Trim the sails and roam the sea. Please. Enough. We'll surely avoid scurvy if we all eat an orange. And, um... Well... Okay, they can't uh, rhyme orange. with orange. No, no. Guess the song's over then. Guess so. Okay. Back to work. Well, gee, I feel a little guilty now. No, I don't feel guilty. Captain. Yes, Mr. McMahon. We were wondering, we were, just what kind of captain you are. What do you mean, Haggis? Well, some captains are men of action. They like to have complete responsibility and control for their ship. Other captains prefer to concentrate more on the thinking aspects of captaining. The captain who's a man of action will undoubtedly have a much more difficult time of defeating other scoundrels of the sea in the fast-paced realm of ship-to-ship -ship combat. The more academic captain will find the other pirate vessels he meets to be less aggressive and therefore far easier and quicker to defeat in combat. 
I see. So, Captain Threepwood, which type of captain be ye? I think I'd rather let you guys help me out. Easy ship combat it is. Who's this? Who's this? Okay, we need this guy. How do I do this? Uh, where is he then? Okay, this is interesting. shots. of my skill and experience. How did we lose that? I thought we did good. Okay, that so was you're easier. A pirate, <laughs> says ye. You'll have to prove it, says I. Give me your treasure and I'll let you live. You won't live to regret this. You're as repulsive as a monkey in a negligee. I look that much like your fiance. Oh shit, he got me there. Would you like to be buried or cremated? With your breath, I'm sure they all suffocated. I leave you devastated, mutilated, and perforated. My craving for peanuts will never be satiated. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what? How? Give me your treasure, you it rhymed. skunk. If I had treasure, don't you think I'd spend it before grappling with the likes of you? I, I suppose you would. Never mind then. I guess I need more practice with this sword fighting stuff. Oh hey, at least I showed him I, the high seas combat. Rhymed. <laughs> Why did I lose? If you're looking for a fight, you oh, found one. Nice. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, a mighty pirate. Don't make me laugh. Killing you would be justifiable homicide. I am rubber, you are glue.
You're ugly. What an amateur insult. Okay, no, don't do that. Yeah. You can't match my witty repartee. I look that much like your fiance. But that rhymes. I can't rest till you've been exterminated. With your breath, I'm sure they all suffocated. Come on, it's good rhymes. Why am I losing? I fancy you have treasure. Hand no, it over. I don't have. If I had treasure. treasure, don't you think I'd spend it before grappling with the likes of you? I, I suppose you would. Never mind then. Again. How dare you attack my ship? Hello. Your treasure or your life? No! I'll take your booty! Killing you would be justifiable okay. homicide. You can't run I'm that. shaking! I'm shaking! Every enemy I've met, I've annihilated. I'm shaking! I'm shaking! Good. You're as repulsive as a monkey in a negligee. Oh, yeah? Nice. You win! Give me your treasure. The treasure is yours. We're loaded with booty. Nice. Your treasure or your life? Good luck, boy. Every enemy I've met, I've annihilated. I am rubber. You are glue. That wasn't crime. You're as repulsive as a monkey in a negligee. I look that much like your fiance. No, he got me there. I'll skewer you like a sour to buffet. Woohoo! Do I enjoy macrame? Oh, that rhymed, but it wasn't an insult, I, I guess. I have never seen such clumsy swordplay. I look that much like your fiance? Come on, that was a good rhyme <laughs> and an insult. Give me your treasure. Okay, okay. No. But can I keep my copy of Torquemada's Guide to Persuasion? Sure, I have my own copy. Weren't you guys supposed to help me? Boarding a pirate ship can be hazardous to your life. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, a mighty pirate. Don't make me laugh. Every enemy I've met, I've annihilated. I am rubber. You are glue. That's wrong. Killing you would be justifiable homicide. Then killing you must be justifiable fungicide. What? How can that work? That was a shit insult. When your insult. father first saw you, he must have been mortified. This rhymes, but I will lose. Mortified. It's either fungicide or worldwide. But he just said this. I can't use that again. I carry traveler's checks that are accepted worldwide. Oh, this, I will regret that. Yep. You're as repulsive as a monkey in a negligee. I look that much like your fiance? Yes. Okay, it's like rock, paper, scissors. You're the ugliest monster ever created. I am rubber. You are glue. Nope. 
Nice, yes. You Give win! Me. Give me your treasure. I didn't want it anyway. It's got that horrible curse. What? Only kidding. We're loaded with booty. Okay, let's save it here. And next time we'll try and get that... Uh, that French captain. So, thank you for watching and see you then. Bye-bye.